What is going on A1 gang? We're back with another video today. Today we have a 2020 Chevy Silverado Crew LT. And it does have the uh, Z71 package on it as well. And uh, it also has some aftermarket stuff that they did at the dealership on it as well. But as you can see, this thing is massive guys. Like, <laughs> is this video probably won't even do justice how massive this thing is. But look at the wheels, like, this is crazy, look at the tread pattern. Sorry about the wind too, we were right off like the highway. But I mean guys, like this this video right here can't even do justice. And I want to say a special thank you to Bellamy Strickland, Chevrolet out here in McDonough, Georgia. So if you guys are in the area, come by and check them out, tell them A1 sent you. But guys, do you see these dual exhausts? Like Chevy, I'm, I'm liking this truck a lot. Like, I don't know if it's because it's lifted for me, it's, it's doing it. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. See, this one is the, the LT, right? And normally they come just like this one right here. As you can see, this black one, this one is just like, it's not lifted or anything. As you can see, it's at normal height. I'm gonna show you guys the front of it and everything as well. So that's how it looks normally. And then you see the one that we're reviewing right over here in the 2020, this one is lifted as well with the wheels. It also has an aftermarket uh, running board right here too, the NFAB. And I'll give you guys a price breakdown of all of this stuff too in a minute. But guys, this thing is, <laughs> this thing is beautiful. Big massive chrome grill. Got the towing hooks right here in the front. Now this truck can tow up to 11,600 pounds. So it, it ain't no punk at all on that daddy. But as you guys can see in there, all the suspension, everything looks beefy. Looks very nice for those of you guys that's at the towing and everything like that. This is the truck for you. But uh, let's hop into, let's let's look into the bed real quick. As you guys can see, nice size bed. It's about a six foot bed. And uh, I'm trying to actually find the key for you guys. It's in my pocket somewhere. I got a lot of stuff in my pocket. So I can show you guys the key fob. So here's the key fob right here. You can actually uh, let the tailgate down just by clicking this. And it opens that up and then it nicely folds open. As you can see, it got a bed liner sprayed in it already. Also got the AC right here for your um, your plug-ins. 120 volt, 400 watt max. I, I like to call it the wall charger, y'all already know. But I mean, very spacious bed back here too. Carry loads of stuff. You got your tow hookups back here. Everything you need right here. Got your little lock and key right there for your tire underneath there. Tow hitch, dual exhaust. I like how that dual exhaust looks. Let's take a step back and look at it again. It's beautiful how it's integrated into the bumper. Then you got the little side step right here too. Thing is beautiful. They do, they do have the lights right there as well. For those of you guys looking for lights in the bed, you got that light. And I'm pretty sure you can probably even turn on that light too to so shine in more light when working at night or whatnot. But uh, also you got the sensors on both the driver and passenger side door. So you can lock the door. See, like right now it's open. Just hit the button, it locks the doors. Hit it again, it unlocks the driver door. And the passenger door is still locked. But uh, let's take a look underneath that hood real quick. And then we'll get into the interior. Taking on a little short test drive. <laughs> man this thing like i'm struggling trying to open up the hood like i'm not that tall this truck is way tall look at this so you see i'm not even that tall this truck gotta be at least seven eight feet tall with this lift on here it's crazy probably taller than that i'm, I'm just doing it justice but massive engine on here you got the 5.3 liter engine and it's putting out i believe it's 300 and 355 horsepower that's what it is and 383 foot pounds of torque I, I was gonna get the numbers mixed up that's why I, I was hesitant on saying it but yeah 
I mean, it's no slouch at all. I mean, you could get 400 out of it easily by just doing simple minor things to it. But uh, also you could, if you want to go for the power like that, I mean, this truck is more for like people that's towing, doing the off-road and stuff, things like that. So it really doesn't, you know, you really don't really care about horsepower, horsepower like that. You're more so into torque. But uh, if you want a modest slap a supercharger on there, you can get probably five, 600 horses out of this thing easily. You got a 5.3 liter in it. So, I mean, it, like I said, it's no slouch at all. So, close the hood up. Beautiful paint color on it as well too. But uh, let's hop into the sticker price because that's the main thing. So these are all the different things that it comes with. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. But uh, I'm going to just talk about some stuff while you guys take a look in the inside real quick. So, for, you, you got the, for the interior, you got power mirrors, steering wheel and control audio. Uh, what else? You got rubber rubberized vinyl floor mats. So, as you guys can see those right there, those are included in, into the price of the truck. Also, you got a 170 amp alternator and you got the Stabila track with trailer sway. Control and heel start assist brake pad wear indicator. So that's pretty good, too So if your brakes pad start to wear it'll let you know, you know that you need to replace your brakes and stuff like that Also, you got the 4g Wi-Fi on here. It's through AT&T as well And you also have the OnStar available as well, too You got the corner step rear bumpers. That's what we talked about right there and You got a lot of different stuff with power power adjustable heated mirrors as well, too you got the Durabed rail protectors. I mean, you got a lot of different stuff. I don't want to bore you guys. This truck also has four-wheel drive as well, too, as you can see. And like I said, it has that Z71 badge. So you have that, that package as well on there, too. Um, that brings the total price for this vehicle with everything $50,475. And the gross vehicle weight is 7,100 pounds. So you guys want to know how much this vehicle weighs? 7,100 pounds. So there you guys go. And like I said, $50,475 for this one. The standard vehicle price is $42,600. And you're getting 16 in the city, 22 on the highway, 18 miles per gallon combined. So, with that being said, now, this truck is, by no means, it's not stock at all. As you guys can see from the outside, it's not stock at all. As you guys can see right there. Beautiful truck. So, I actually have what they've done to it for the aftermarket. Uh, stuff for but we're gonna actually get in it real quick. I mean that thing is beautiful guys Like <laughs> it's, Go check out my Instagram as well too. It'd be pictures up there if you guys aren't already following my Instagram It's a link down below in the description box So go ahead and follow that snapchat all of that good, good stuff You see more stuff on there before I even actually do the reviews I put the videos up and sometimes I even put them up while I'm doing the reviews I put up different things like that on my snapchat as well, too but uh, you have a six inch comp, pro comp lift. You got the N5 steps. You got the Moto Metal rims. They're 22 by 10 wheels. You got the 35 by 125 Zero R22 Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. You got the spray in bed liner, black bow tie emblem, all weather floor mats, and a rear fender flares. Rear fender liner, liners, I mean. So that brings the total price to $7,995. So you might as well round that up to $8,000. So what was your, what was your vehicle price? $50,475 plus the $8,000. You had about 58. 58 and some change, 59, you might as well round it up. So you get 59,000 for a lifted truck that really you don't have to do nothing to and i had already drove it i'm gonna I'm a, I'm a drive it for you guys on, on video so you guys can see the, the vehicle drives very smooth there's no noise or anything like that as far as road noise it's very smooth very quiet vehicle looks beautiful the stance of it is gorgeous as well too but uh enough talking let's go ahead and start it up so you guys can get that that exhaust note real quick So as you guys can see, it's not 
it's not that loud of an exhaust or anything like that, but with a muffler delete and some other stuff, you guys can have that thing screaming. Let's turn that down, son. But uh, right here on the door, you got the little leather stitching right here. Padded material, very nice. Rubbery like feel right here, but it feels good. You got the wood look to it right there as well, too. I don't see any memory seating right here on the door. So those of you guys that look for memory seating, you kind of bummed out. But uh, you have automatic up down windows on all four doors. Not up down, but automatic down on that door at least. You got automatic up down on the two fronts, the passenger and the driver door. Oh no, it's only um, automatic up and down on the driver door. So the, the other doors, you, they're automatic down, but they don't go up automatically. So that's kind of a bummer too, if you guys are looking for that. But you got storage down here, a lot of it too. Now, like I said, this truck is raised up about six inches. So you actually gotta use the step for this one. At least I do, cause I'm short. So step in here. And as you guys can see, nice interior. Very nice, we are out of gas just about. <laughs> it is in two wheel drive mode, but you do have four wheel drive right here, all your controls for your trailer and everything right here, different modes. You can turn on that backlight like I was telling you guys. I mean, it's just a very beautiful inside, you know, inside is very beautiful. Uh, quiet as well too, solid thump to the door when you close it. Uh, you got your down, your heel start assist with everything right there to open up your um, tailgate back there, hazards, plug-ins, cigarette lighter, 12 volt charger, I mean 12 volt charger, you got the wall charger, that's what I like to call it, trailer brake, heated seats, dual climate control, alright you do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You can also see your trailer and everything tailored trailer test light light test to test your uh, trailer lights and do all of that good stuff like that I'll go back home like I said you got the Wi-Fi 4g it tells you the degrees outside and all of that good stuff I mean it's a very simple to, and, and easy system to use your climate your camera as you can see it's a nice camera as well too it's like HD uh, you can also see if you got a trailer, the trailer indicator lines right there to let you know if it's straight or not. You can even zoom in on your hitch back there when your hitch is plugged in. As you can see, make sure nothing is going haywire back there. But I mean, it's a pretty cool vehicle if you guys are into off-road. Not even if you're into off-road, if you just want that big sporty look. You see how little the cars look from up here? Like, those are, those are, that's a, sub no, that's a Tahoe right there and that's a Yukon looked like a suburban it was kind of long but it's not but um yeah th those cars look those those suvs look very tiny from up here and i mean they aren't by any means and you don't have a vanity light which kind of sucks here um i mean it is what it is i mean most people that buy this truck is is, is either hauling something or something like that or, or getting it to pull you know more more for light work so not that bad you got cloth seats in here too they are very comfortable you also got three seats up here so it's like a bench seat but you can lay this down right here and then you got your little console right here. you got cup holders center console two glove boxes one right there this is my bags and everything that don't come in the vehicle you got your books and everything in there let's get in the back real quick Man, that is a high step down. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Same materials on this back door. It's on the front door as well, too. Uh, they also put a tune in here for the speedometer calibrator. I don't know why it was hard to say that, but you got the speedometer calibrator. Because uh, with the lift, I guess it messes up the... Uh, the, the speedometer is not correct so they they put that in here as well they didn't cut any corners and it's by hypertech as well too so they didn't cut any corners when they did this lift this lift is professionally done here at the dealership so right here in the back as you can see my leg room is awesome back here you know what i'm saying i got a lot of room storage pocket back there nice led lights you can actually open up this window back here from the controls up there too you got two usbs 12 volt charger as well I mean, it's very spacious back here as well, too. Then right here in the center, you got the two cup holders. Also, you got some storage right here, too. Very nice. 
right, let's let's do what y'all been waiting for, man. Let's let's go on a little test drive real quick just to see how this thing performs on, you know, just driving around. Like I said, it's gonna be very quiet. So at least from when I was driving, it was very quiet. It wasn't loud or nothing like that. But uh put that thing in drive you don't have a little spinning i actually like these still for trucks i mean that's just my opinion some people like the little buttons and stuff that you hit but i'm gonna shut up talking now hold on let me turn that air down and as you guys see i'm gonna leave it on the the, the camera And like I said, guys, it's very quiet. You don't hear anything. Very nice and smooth drive too. Like you, you see how how tall how much taller we are than these pickup trucks. You might not be able to see it on camera, but I'm telling you guys, this thing is massive. Like <laughs> it's hard to explain how how much taller it is. I'm gonna actually probably pull up on the side of uh, a Silverado right here just so you guys can see like how much more taller in person this thing is and then we're gonna continue to take it on a little drive around this little lot right here so as you guys can see this is the one that we just that we're reviewing right now and then that's the little one so you can see it looks a lot more beefier in the stance I mean, you can see from the roof line that it's a lot taller too. I mean, it, the lift isn't overly, you know, ridiculously huge where it felt like you're driving like a semi truck or something like that, but it's, it's big enough. And the wheels, they don't stick out a lot, which I like that. I mean, it's a very, very nicely, tastefully done. But um, yeah, guys, while driving this, man, my headroom is good, I'm chilling, you know, it's not too much i mean it's just right like it feels like you're still in a regular regular size pickup truck It's nothing you know what i'm saying it's very quiet like i said transmission is an eight speed transmission it shifts its gears pretty smoothly there's nothing awkward or anything about it no nicks and dings or anything going wrong with it so very nice vehicle I mean, I, I would definitely get one. I would also have to see what's out there in the market as well, too. But I mean, I'm I'm, I'm really feeling this one a lot. But uh, just like that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and park this thing over here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.